Hey, what's up everybody? This is your favorite homeboy in my famous mobile studio and Joshua is on the video recorder. Say hi, Joshua. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, I haven't been recording for a while. It's been super busy building my company, Mars Hill. Uh, but today's a special occasion. Me and Joshua are doing a guy's trip up to uh, New York City where my cousin Wilson's getting married. Congrats, Wilson. And um, while in New York, of course, we got to visit some cool stores. So a cool store that I've always wanted to visit in Manhattan that obviously I didn't want to go out of my way for, but since I'm here, might as well visit it. It's called the Vacheron Constantine Flagship Store, um, and it's a watch brand. Vacheron is one of the oldest watchmakers in existence. In fact, it's the oldest continuous Swiss watchmaker ever, older than Rolex and Patek and some of these other watch brands. I think since 1700s, it's been in, in existence and continuously producing watches. Pretty amazing. So I love the watch brand. I love the story. And today we're going to visit the uh, flagship store in Manhattan at 11 o'clock. We left this morning at, uh, what time did we leave? 5.45? 5.40, yeah. 6 o'clock. So we've been driving ever since. Joshua helped me with the first leg and I'm taking the second leg going into the city. Uh, so can't wait. We're going to meet our cousin, my cousin, Alex. Uh, he's also a watch guy. So we're going to meet him at the store. And Vacheron, I actually have my very first Vacheron right here on my wrist uh, to commemorate this visit to the store. This, uh, what you see here, is called the Vacheron uh, Generation 2 Overseas Chronograph. And uh, I love the watch. You can see the dial has this guilloche dial, this really nice texture. And um, uh, the chronograph hands, and it just looks really cool. And the Maltese cross, uh, you see right here on the, on the bottom of the clasp. Uh, you can see that theme throughout not only the uh, watch band, you can see the kind of the Maltese cross edges here, but also on the dial, you can see the Maltese cross theme throughout the dial as well. So it's really well executed, really comfortable, uh, beautiful bracelet. I love this watch. And the cool story about this watch is, uh, I want to tell you a really cool story. So um, watch, I like getting a watch to commemorate like a special occasion or a, or a um, uh, I guess you could say, uh, a, a cool accomplishment. So for, for me, one of my uh, biggest goals when I first started my real estate property management company was uh, to get to 300 properties. That was my BHAG, which you call a big, hairy, audacious goal. I never thought I'd get to 300 properties. I was like, well, wow, I'm gonna start this company. I'm gonna write out my vision and my mission and my goals. And my goal is to get to 300 properties. That would be like amazing. Well, I finally hit 300 properties maybe a couple years ago, uh, after about 10 years in the business, and I wanted to commemorate that milestone with a watch. So I got the Rolex Explorer 2 Polar Dial, and I got that watch, I love that watch, and um, it, that was a GMT, it, had, it, it would tell two different time zones. And I got that watch because I had uh, employees in different time zones, so it had some meaning for me. Uh, and so, this year, I'm going to hit another milestone, and that milestone is going to be 400 properties. And so I decided, well, with 400 properties, I wanted to trade in that watch, and that's what I did. I traded in that watch, and I upgraded it to this Vacheron Overseas 2. So that's how I ended up with this watch. Um, I'm not at 400 yet, but uh, I was shopping for the watch for like the longest time, and I found a good deal, uh, a, a local seller. I wanted to see it in person, try it on in person. And so I just did the deal a little early, and celebrating a little bit early, it's okay. Uh, so that's how I got the Vacheron too. Uh, now, this past year I celebrated another milestone, a personal milestone, not a business milestone, which is 20th anniversary with my, being married to my wife, Autumn. Uh, and so I wanted to celebrate that with a watch. For me, I wanted the Generation 3, a newer watch with the blue dial. And so I've been in contact with these guys for the past almost two years and have been on the waiting list. And so today I'm going to check them out, cross my fingers. Hopefully I get it. If not, at least we get to check out the goodies with my cousin Alex, who's also a watch guy. And I'm meeting him here in a little bit too. So, all right. They don't allow video, but we'll take some pictures and uh, we'll show you later. All right. So, Alex, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Hey. Hey. Joshua? You know Joshua? You met Joshua? Yeah. Like uh, 10 years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. Dinner or something. He's a little guy. Yeah. We're on video. Uh, video. I'm gonna quick YouTube, so say hi to them. <laughs> they don't allow video in there, but we can make it. Hey, we made it back. We're in the hotel and we're one hour away from the wedding. 
Uh, we had a great time hanging out at the Vacheron store with my cousin Alex. Haven't seen him in a long time, so it was great catching up with him. Uh, he's probably about 14 years younger than me, so as kids, it's not like we hung out or anything. So as adults, it's kind of cool. We have watches in common. Uh, we're grown adults, we can talk, have adult conversations. That was really cool catching up at the restaurant store with him and Joshua. Uh, after that, we had lunch. Um, and now we're here, back at the hotel after sitting an hour and a half in traffic, 30 miles for an hour and a half. That was horrible. So, cool thing, we had some champagne at the Vacheron store, which means we celebrated something. Uh, they came out, they showed me a couple watches, and then, if you notice here, I got this little Vacheron bag. So, guess what? I think we might have something to show you. We're going to do a little unboxing here. I know we don't do a lot of unboxing unless it's like a smart lock or something, but... Ready for this? Oh, check it out! <laughs> uh, okay, okay. This is the, uh, the coffee bar for the hotel. This is not the true unboxing, so... I didn't get something, you know, that's, it's impossible to get something because the, the wait's so long, but actually I did get something. Bam. Oh shoot. Bam. Check out that box. All right. So this box is not easy to come off. They like to have full suspense. Maybe they're tricking me and it's not that hard to get to make you feel really happy, but, um, I got it. So this is the, uh, the box here and it comes in a nice little shiny case you can see here all right and then uh, underneath that case there is a little hidden compartment I'll take this off a little hidden compartment and this just kind of has your your card your additional eight-year warranty and also basically uh, these are the papers these days it's a card this is proof of purchase this uh, it's very important to show authenticity um, and to show the history of the purchase. So I'm going to put that over here. I like that. Nice Apple Apple style packaging. All right, check this out. You push this little button. It's got that Maltese cross on it. Push that button. And lo and behold, this is the watch I've been waiting for for a long time. This is called the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Generation 3, and it's the blue dial. And if you look at the blue dial... You know, on the video, it's, it might be okay, but in person, it's mesmerizing. It's just uh, the way it hits the light. Uh, sometimes it looks black in the sunlight. It's just uh, brilliant, deep blue. Uh, and, you know, blue is my favorite color. It's a lot of people's favorite colors. Um, but I love blue. And so I've been looking for this blue dial. I think it's one of the best blue dials in the industry. You'll hear it said over and over. Um, so this this is the... This is the watch that I've been waiting for, and I'm so happy I have it. And the cool thing is, this is almost like three watches in one, because if I lift up this uh, little area here in the box, it comes with uh, two other straps. So this is one of the straps it comes with, which is a rubber strap. So this allows it to uh, kind of change the look, if you will. Uh, so this is the the watch on rubber, so you can kind of wear it more casually, summertime, uh, in the water. It's got 150 meters water resistance. And the other strap is this one right here. And this is the calfskin with the um, white contrast stitching. I like the white contrast stitching. I had the option to get alligator, uh, but I did like the white contrast stitching. Didn't feel like the alligator was my style. A little bit more uh, subtle. Uh, but this could be like kind of dressing up the watch. So the really cool thing about this watch, a lot of people don't know, if you're a watch person, you know this, is that it has a quick release strap change, a uh, quick release feature here, so you can change these straps. So on the back here, you just kind of hold this, and it comes apart like that, and hold this, and that comes apart just like that, and then you could just put the other strap on. Now let me show you the back. The back is an ex exhibition case back. Uh, I've always wanted a watch where you can see the movement. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful movement? Um, you can see that Cote de Genève, that, that detail, um, and just the gold rotor. I think it's a 22 karat rotor. Uh, just beautiful. So 
This is my watch for my 20th anniversary, about five months late, but um, it's pretty cool that I have it. Uh, now the most difficult thing is finding one for my wife. But see, my wife, she's not really into watches, so um, maybe I'll get her a bowling ball. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, so hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and I hope to have more videos, uh, maybe of watches uh, or maybe of our future trip. So until next time, if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments below if you want to see any future content, any suggestions. I've been working really hard on building my company, so that's why I haven't done videos for a long time. Uh, most people don't want to see property management videos, uh, but if you want to see any type of video, put it in the comments below. I hope you like this. Subscribe, like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is your favorite homeboy, signing out.